I think it's time to start playing this harmonica. Okay. Okay, you ready for this? I'm ready, I think. Okay. I think I'm ready. Okay. So we're going to start with the basics. Make sure the numbers are on the top, which you, which you <laughs> <Yes>. have. <laughs> I've made that mistake before. Oh, and, and I've been boop, doop, doop, when I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, yeah. And by the way, a, a quick way to help fix oops, I'm playing the harmonica upside down mm -hmm. because there'll be a time where you'll be performing, you'll grab the harmonic, you'll be talking to the audience, and you go, oh, goodness. Yeah. Oops. So the first thing you'll do every time you pick up the harmonica, so go ahead and take the harmonica, flip it around in your hands, put it in your lap. You're going to pick it up and you're going to do a draw chord, which means making your lips nice and large. You're going to go on the left end of the harmonica and I'm going to... Oh, it's upside down, see? Oh, so don't even check yet. Oh. We're going to pretend you don't even know that it's upside down. Okay, I don't down. know. Bring up your lips and draw. Draw is the... Inhale. Inhale. You got it. Good. Good. Oh, Lord. So we notice that Ooh. it's high. Flip that sucker around and I'll do that draw chord again. Good. So now you know, like a piano, on the left-hand side you have the low notes, on the right-hand side you have the high notes. We want the low notes on the left-hand side. So let's do How one more embarrassing, time. though, if you're performing and you do that. Oh, yeah. Then yep. what happens? Everyone's like, eh, boo, go. You, no, <laughs> you just nonchalantly turn it around and keep playing and yeah. let the flop sweat dissipate over time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we don't want to make that mistake is my point. Yes. So try it one more time. Randomly mix it around. So every time I pick up the harmonica, if I'm talking to the audience, hey, welcome to the Poor House Bistro. It's always a pleasure to, to have you guys here. We're going to play a little music for you. They didn't even know. They just thought... Upside down again. All right. So just flip that Gracious. right side up and away you go. Good. That's it. So every time you pick up the harmonica, just do that little draw chord. Okay. And if it is upside down, for example, yes. I'll, I'll say my speech again. Welcome to the Poor House Bistro. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to have everybody around. Make sure to tip your waitress. Ooh, right. And so it's upside down right there. And I'm talking to them and they go, we're going to play a little song called uh, uh, Ever Since I Met My Baby. And then you just start playing as if the harmonica was never sure. upside down. Okay. So let's have a little fun with that. So your harmonica's upside down. The numbers are, okay, are low. Upside down. You're going to play your draw chord. Notice that it's upside down. Flip that around Oops, in your hand, please. and then <laughs> away you go. Good. As I would say, take two. <laughs> exactly. All right, so let's pull that harmonica out of your left hand, which you're actually holding it quite well. We're going to pretend that you were that you were not visually watching me really well. I want you to hold it on the corners like this. We're not even going to hold the harmonica, quote unquote, properly yet. Okay. Because the reason is I don't want the hands to get in the way of the mouth. Okay. Okay, before we even put the harmonica in the mouth, really important things, and this is something you're going to revisit for years, because mm -hmm. this is what's going to help you to have good tone on the harmonica. Okay. What we do not want to do is we don't want to see this harmonica and go, oh, look at those little tiny holes, and go... Yep, that's what I want to do. Yeah, and pucker up and get that little hole, right? Yep. So we don't want to do that. Okay. What we don't want to do is open our mouth, insert harmonica. And here's the reasons why. Okay. As we close our mouth, like we're blowing out a candle, go ahead and do that. So what you feel is everything closing down and the breath, instead of being warm, it's cold, mm -hmm. right? As our mouth cavity closes down, we're not going to achieve good tone on the harmonica. This is our tone chamber. Mm -hmm. So like a guitar, you strum the guitar, you have the body of the guitar. If your mouth is small, yes. your tonal chamber is small. Sure. In the harmonica, it sounds so sad. <laughs> <laughs> puny. <laughs> it sounds puny, exactly. Okay. And we want our harmonica to have a warm, beautiful tone. Yes. So the number one reason why beginners and professionals, I see some professional players out there, mm -hmm. as Joe Felisco has called them, no tone wonders. Oh no. They can move around the harmonica playing tons of notes, but their tone is so bad. Sure. So we want to make sure that you have good, beautiful tone okay. right from the beginning. So what we want to do is to always open mouth, insert harmonica. And I don't care whether you're blowing or drawing, okay. where you are on the harmonica, you're just going to open your mouth. Uh, I'm going to blow so you can blow. Give that a try. And do you want me to still hold it like a cheeseburger? Yeah, just, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay, so um, blow. Yeah. Right? Open mouth, insert harmonica, blow. Good. And you're, you're achieving a nice, warm sound. Okay. So let's do that again. And by the way, the students that are out there watching this, obviously do this with us. So. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We're eating a cheeseburger. Ready? Here you go. Very good. That's a nice warm sound. Okay. Anytime you find yourself as we're learning challenging techniques, as you find yourself tensing and you're trying mm -hmm. to get that mm -hmm. and you're, everything's closing down, mm -hmm. I'll say, oh, 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 remember the very first thing that Dave taught me. Open yeah. up, relax, 
try to focus on what part of the body is trying to achieve this technique and okay. try to keep everything else relaxed. Open and relaxed. With okay. that in mind, what do our lips do? Well, they create a seal, right? Okay. And a gasket that's dry is not doing its job. What's a gasket? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Great. I'm an... I hate Home Depot, by the way. <laughs> it's the worst. That's not nice. Home Depot, it's a wonderful store. Home Depot gives has a lot of good tools and such, but it's so boring. Being in there, and it's like watching paint dry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'll have to keep, I have to start changing my analogies. <laughs> um, well, harmonica definitely is a male-dominated sport, you know, like it is. one out of 40 students is yep. female. Yeah. Yep. So I know that the female students on the website will appreciate having your perspective. That's right. And <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't like Home Depot as well. <laughs> okay. So a gasket, what it is, a gasket or something like, for example, the door. When you close the door, mm -hmm. there's you have a, a stripping around yes. that's soft and yes. sometimes it's rubber. Yes. When that gets cracked and old and it falls apart, right. it's not doing a good job of keeping, in this case, air coming from one room okay. to the next room. So we're also trying to keep air into the harmonica. And when we're tense, what happens is things like this, this starts to open up and we get this crease okay. and air is going to leak out. and a gasket, or in this case, the weather stripping, when it's soft, supple, mm -hmm. is doing its best job. And again, it's gonna help us with tone and technique. If you're tense on the harmonica, you're probably pushing on the harmonica too, which okay. is gonna create drag. Okay. So not only for good tone now and in the future, mm -hmm. but also for technique, so we can move and glide across the face of the harmonica, we always want to think about light touch. Okay. So while we're thinking about this now, we're gonna put the harmonica in the mouth and really think about soft, light touch on the harmonica. Okay. Not really squeezing down. Good. One more time. Good. Now, do you feel the harmonica from all the way here, all the way, even in the sides, how it's touching? Mm, do it one more time and okay. see if to make sure that that's touching too. If it's not, the harmonica is not deep enough in your mouth. Good. That's perfect. Good. Okay. So we're creating a nice seal. And again, I we're see. not pushing. Okay. It's going to create chafing on the face of, you know, on your lips and don't want that. Good. So a nice light touch. Everything is nice and open. Okay. That's the most important thing about first playing the harmonica is that we are radiating warm air through the harmonica. I should be able to anytime be able to pull the harmonica out, put a mirror in front of your face and okay. it should fog up. Okay. Very, very important for good tone. Good. Any questions so far? New. Okay, so we've already talked about that the left side is the lowest and the, the right side is the highest. Yeah. Why don't you lick your lips now? Now, as it goes, uh, if you wear lipstick or if you use chapstick, something to keep in mind is that we'll get into the holes of the harmonica. Yes. Um, I don't wear any of those products, so I don't have to clean the face of the harmonica. <laughs> Sometimes you do. <laughs> and he's just kissed me. <laughs> that is true. Because I am a lip gloss addict. Yeah, so something to keep in mind is that you're going to get, uh, the holes will get gunked up a little bit. Yep. So when the time comes, you'll notice because you look at the harmonic and it'll look a little gross. Gross. And then what you'll do is probably the easiest thing to do is just take a, uh, uh, a toothpick. Okay. Making sure the face of the harmonica is down so that any little particles that fall out fall out of the harmonica, sure. not into the harmonica. You'll just kind of scrape around. Now, uh, it's a little gross to say, but you may find it uh, easier to do when you've just done playing the harmonica. So everything's kind of moist and it's easy to take out uh, because otherwise when it's dry, it's kind of crusty and everything. You know. <laughs> this is so gross. So you'll figure out which way, which method works best for you, um, just played or, uh, or dry. Okay. Uh, we might as well talk about maintenance so we're, since we're talking about this right now. There is no maintenance on the harmonic. You don't need to open the harmonic and clean it or anything. You're, as you're blowing and drying on the harmonica, the moisture and whatever's in your saliva is being uh, uh, blown away from the reed and the reed slot where the actual moving parts are. Swishing around in water and cleaning it is just going to move particles where they shouldn't be. Sure. So cleaning is that. Okay. As time goes on, you'll kind of clean around the holes. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't personally do that. I don't need to do that. Uh, what I will do every now and again is I will just use my fingernail because on the left-hand side, we put a lot of time there. I'll just use my fingernail to get rid of any crusties, mm. and that does the job just fine. Okay. Uh, I'll also every now and again use a cloth and just wipe down the harmonica. Right. Besides that, you don't want to do anything else with, with the harmonica. Okay, so the left-hand side. Wait, left sometimes side. you do this thing. Yes. Okay, good. Glad you brought that up. Uh, so when you're playing on the harmonica, the, the reed 
the moving part on the harmonica is the reed, and there's a rivet on this side. Mm -hmm. It vibrates in a slot. Mm -hmm. And actually, the reed itself does not make the sound that we hear. And the students will learn this on blues harmonica fundamentals. As the air escapes, mm -hmm. the reed moves out of the slot. It's sending a puff of air to you. Puff, puff, mm. puff, 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 mm -hmm. just like a motorcycle going down the street. Mm -hmm. You know, they just mm -hmm. turn it on and mm -hmm. they're going. Mm -hmm. So those puffs are going faster and the pitch goes up. Okay. So as the reed is vibrating, for example, one blow on this A harmonica is, I think it's 220 hertz, which means it's vibrating 220 times in one second. It's sending 220 puffs of air to your ear in one second. So that reed is really buzzing. The tolerance or the distance between the reed and the reed slot, how close it is, is what makes a good instrument or a poor performing instrument. So a well uh, manufactured and set up harmonica is going to have very, very tight tolerances. You can imagine if the tolerance was not, a lot of air would be leaking around the sides and less would be going to the actual creation of sound. So it goes here and it's really efficient when you put your breath in, even soft breath, it'll start to vibrate. Okay. My whole point is, um, saliva will commonly, as you're playing, get, say you're playing draw reads, the blow reads are not having the saliva uh, sure. blown sure. out. So their uh, saliva will collect in that area. And after a while, and you'll kind of start to feel the harmonica get a little lethargic, you'll take a harmonica face down and you give it one or two good spanks on your leg. Face down. Yeah, so the holes in the front, there you go. And you want to give it a pretty good whack. Good. Oh, I heard it go ping. It, yeah, so the reeds were vibrating. Now you okay. can do it on your hand. That's Ew. a little gross. Use antibacterial <laughs> if you're going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Or if you have that cloth that you use yes. to wipe your harmonicas, just on the cloth. Okay. Now, how often you do that is, is, is up to you and how much saliva that uh, you produce. And again, everybody's different. I yep. have some students who are emailing me pretty often saying I'm clogging up the harmonica all the time. Man, they're going to be doing this all sure. the time. Uh, that is an issue for all players in the beginning. So you will find yourself spitting up the harp and it'll get better and better over time. Okay.